Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is DJ B Ride with Funky Town Entertainment. Back at it again with another how to video. Uh, so, basically, what I'm going to do here for this video is I uh, took some footage at a wedding I did last weekend. Um, and I basically just kind of explained how to set up my mixer and all that. Uh, so, I want to go ahead and show you guys um, how I do it. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to make this video separate from the gig log just because there's going to be some dance footage. And I didn't want to make the video too long. So, I'm going to separate and do a how to on how I um, use an external mixer alongside my controller, which is my DDJ 1000 SRT from um, Pioneer. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works. I might reference saying, yeah, I'll see you guys back after the introductions or things like that, but just know this video is strictly gonna be a how-to video. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I set up my uh, setup with my controller, running into my external mixer with microphones and things like that. So I'll go ahead and show you guys right now. So one thing I wanted to teach you guys is how I hook up everything to my mixer. Um, a lot of questions I get from DJs is how do I use an external mixer when I am using a DJ controller that has mixer capabilities um, in it. Um, you can use a controller as a mixer, you just do not have as many options as you would if you had an external mixer. I highly suggest that if you want to be any sort of reliable and just up your game as a professional DJ, use an external mixer. Um, and I'll go ahead and kind of give you guys the explanation as to why. So like I said, here's my DDJ 1000 SRT. Like I said, this controller and so many other controllers of its caliber um, have the capability to have, have like the mixing capabilities. Technically, this whole middle console is a mixer. It has four different channels, four different lines. You can adjust the volume, do whatever you want, and all the, 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 the ports and all that are back here. So technically, this has a mixer. But the thing about these controllers is in order to cut costs, they're, the companies that make them are not going to make these as if they were a standalone external mixer. So not that they're bad, they're just not the high professional grade that us DJs that are mobile DJs should use. Um, this DDJ1000 SRT does have the option for two microphone inputs. Um, the preamps on the microphones just are not, um, they're not clean. They're not as good as you would have for an external mixer. So you can do it if it's just like a simple, easy, like backyard barbecue gig where you might need to have um, a microphone. That's easy just to plug in. You don't necessarily need an external mixer for that. But let me go ahead and show you guys how I set up my mixer. Went ahead and have the flash on just because it's a little difficult to see, but I'll kind of show you guys how I do it. So my speakers are connected right here on the out. So I have two XLRs, one my uh, left is gonna be running right here to my right. Uh, the reason is that's the left side for the audience. So I run my left to my right hand side for me and then my right out to my left. Basically how it's going to work is you have channels that are uh, able to control individual uh, things that are plugged in too. So I'll kind of show you how I set mine up. This one right here, this is my microphone that I have for my personal one, my wired microphone. So that is what this sucker is right there. This is connected right here. The volume knob is right here. And I set the gain and everything right there. Um, I'm not gonna go in on this video how to set gain and all that. Maybe I will eventually, but there are videos out there on the internet to show you how to um, set gain and make sure everything uh, works correctly. This cable right here on channel two, so this channel, this is a short cable that is running right here to my wireless microphone. So I just plug right back out of here. It runs all the way down right here to this channel and I can control the volume right here and controls the high, the mid, the lows and things like that with this channel. How I run everything out of my mixer is a big question that I get a lot. So let me kind of go ahead and show you guys from the backside. I did a case build, which I haven't shown, I haven't shown you guys how I did it, but basically I drilled holes, got some uh, adapters right here so that way I can just plug straight in here and then these plugs with the adapters go in on the outs of my uh, DJ1000 SRT right here, so right and left. I have this set right here, pulls out. These cables right here are then fed into one of my final channels right here. So they just come out XLR to quarter inch because that's what the, this line level accepts. And I'll go ahead and come right back around the front. So what I have right here is I have a stereo, um, a stereo signal coming from my controller right here. So I have a left signal and a right signal. That is then controlled and fed into this one single channel where I have my volume knob right there, set the gain and everything for this room. 
and it's all set to go. This is the master volume for the entire mixer, so no matter what I do, if I pull this down, everything goes down. If I pull this up, everything goes up. I just have it at unity at zero just to keep everything clean. So that's how I do my setup um, when it comes to hooking into a mixer. I highly recommend to get an external mixer. Um, it doesn't even have to be as big as this. I just have this so that way, if let's say I have some um, people with instruments that need to tap in, I have a few extra lines for them. I have a line here for them, I got a line there. Um, just I have options uh, that I can make sure I am able to provide for my couples uh, everything that they need. So um, yeah, I love this. Allen & Heath is a fantastic brand, so I highly recommend them. Some of the cleanest and crispest, crisp, crispiest, if I could speak, um, preamps out there on the market for a great price range. So definitely look into it. And if you guys have any questions on the mixer or any recommendations, let me know. All right, everybody. And that is my how-to video on how to hook up your DJ controller, whatever it may be, to an external mixer. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully you got a lot of good knowledge and information out of it. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, outside of what I explained, go ahead and drop them down in the comments. I try to answer every single question I can. Uh, I will say a lot of times I do get a lot of comments regarding how do I hook it up on this specific mixer? Mixers, external mixers are like 90% the same. So really just kind of take time, look at this video, apply it to the mixer you have. They all have channels and they all have outs. But sometimes though, they don't have like auxiliary outs as if I were to use a subwoofer. Um, but I do have another video um, in my channel that explains how to hook up subwoofers. So go ahead, check out that video as well, uh, wherever it's going to be in my, in, my, um, in my channel. So just go ahead and check that out. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and watch this video a few times just to kind of get the knowledge of how it works. Uh, mimic what I do. If there's anything that you do differently, if it works for you, keep doing it. Um, I just prefer external mixers because they really give you a lot more options and they definitely... Uh, just make everything sound a lot more clean and a lot more crisp and you can really make your speakers louder and have more headroom out of the speakers if you use an external mixer rather than just having your um, XLRs come out of your DJ controller just straight to your speakers. So highly recommend external mixers and I definitely highly recommend the Allen & Heath uh, line of mixers that they have. So uh, if you found this video helpful, informational, or anything like that, um, please let me know. You can like the video, drop a comment, do whatever. Um, don't forget to subscribe as well. I uh, really want to try to help people out as much as I can and keep making content like this for you guys. So um, once again, if you have any questions, let me know. But other than that, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next video I do. See you guys.